see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Well, off is this or that, okay? I'll make it clear. You can write this down. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. None of this is a secret. I just to be clear, you know, many jokes have been made about this, but I stand by it. My moral principles are rock solid. I'm, I'm my feet are firmly planted in the ground. I've got my boots up. They're planted firmly. You you cannot move me from my position. This isn't a secret. Uh, let's talk to a therapist. Well, why do you want to be the horse, Vosh? Because then I'd have a giant dick. Okay, couldn't you have an, a, a big dick the other way? Well, yeah, I could. Like, yeah, I could have a big dick hypothetically in any variety of scenarios, but then it wouldn't really be a horse dick. Well, you could be a human with a horse dick. Yes, but then I wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy using it. There you go. That's it. That's the whole thing. On February 7th, Ian Vos Kokskinski accidentally right clicked on a man's fashion picture as he was browsing a man's fashion site. He explained why he accidentally clicked the Save As tab in the right click drop down menu. Now we, we finally arrive uh, at this most recent drama, the, the incident that lit a fire under Drama YouTube and is, to my mind, the only thing I've done in the past four years that actually, actually looks bad. It's pretty fucking embarrassing to say the least. So there I was, uh, streaming a few weeks ago, browsing a men's fashion site. I wanted to look at an image more closely, so I right-clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally instead clicked the Save As tab in the right-click drop-down menu. Uh, now, because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated in this video, a fucking idiot, my preferred strategy for keeping my desktop clean is to keep a single big folder called to be sorted where every image document music file whatever i happen to download gets sent now, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer but you know there you go it, it's me so i hit save as and a half second later uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream and now of course that folder had porn in it, so I immediately ended the stream and deleted the VOD, even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform, it's TOS, uh, you gotta delete the VOD. So uh, I, I, I stream with no delay, and folks are always screen capturing the feed, so I, I knew the contents of my to be sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably public knowledge. But to be honest, that didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but mostly because it made me look like a careless idiot, not because I was ashamed of the, like, furry demon monster GF big dick porn stuff I knew I had in there, you know? I had rambled about liking all that stuff on stream before, not a secret, and I thought, you know, maybe, uh, in a way, this fuck-up would come across kind of charming. You know, like, uh, uh, that's my streamer, that fucking idiot right there. My community was already making a big joke of it by the time I went live again. Of course, I knew as soon as the folder opened on stream that it would be pretty easy for people to lie about what it contained, to stir up drama or cause me trouble or for any other reason. So when later on in that stream, one or two people came into chat and they said, uh, hey, there was Lolly in there. And, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going. Uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the entire goddamn internet that two of the images in my folder preview window uh, were actually from a well-known Lolicon artist and therefore definitely intended to be lolly shit, which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing. Now, obviously, the accusation here isn't just that I had those images saved, that part's true, not really an accusation, but also that I must have known uh, that they were lollycon and saved them because they were lollycon. Now, the obvious and predictable but nonetheless true response from me is that no, I didn't know that, and that must not have been the uh, impression I got from those two drawings, because if I had gotten that impression, then I wouldn't have saved them. 
you know i mean drawings are abstractions and art styles and body proportions vary massively even for characters that are unambiguously adults that doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem i've bitched about it being a problem like a lot on stream it just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible yeah yes drawings are abstractions that is true yeah, I, I know what some people are going to say, you know, no, uh, you must have known. There's no way you didn't know. And like, like, what am I going to do? Make a, a, a fucking evidentiary argument here? You know, like, I'm not putting up the images so we can argue about the, the pixels or the proportions or whatever. I, I know fully well that like 99.9% .9 of people who have heard about this drama haven't seen the images, nor do I think those people should go looking for them, obviously. So... It's pretty much entirely a take me at my word or don't kind of situation where people are free to lie about the drawings or as I've already seen on Twitter, just post other really bad looking shit and say that's what I had in my folder. There's not much I can do about it, right? Uh, it's all totally unfalsifiable and people are going to make whatever assumptions and inferences they want to make. All I can really say is that I didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings uh, the same way a person could fail to notice any element of any drawing if they were careless or inattentive or distracted. I believe you. You were young at the time. Your brain didn't fully understand what was wrong with it because it was still developing. Had you known that Batman, sure, you wouldn't have saved those drawings. Uh, hell, uh, chat also pretty much immediately clocked two other drawings in the folder preview window as being AI art, something else I didn't notice, and uh, they gave me plenty of shit for that too, because I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of AI art. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think I've done a good job of demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if nothing else. So leaving that uh, stupid, least charitable argument aside, uh, someone might then ask, okay, I get it. It's possible to make a mistake like that. Why then would you save the images? I, I, what about them did you like? And look, there's really no way of saying this without sounding crass or flippant or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's already pretty revealing video. There's actually a very clear and simple explanation for why, uh, you know, for not just those two drawings, but in fact, all the drawings in that folder and all my porn tastes generally. And it's an explanation that is extremely well known and well substantiated. Uh, I, I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. Okay. That's a sincere answer. Don't be ashamed of it. It's okay to like it. Every straight boy has talked about a big dick when they were 9 years of age in 4th grade, 10 in 5th grade, and so on. If anything, I am one of the majority as well who was hearing about it in random conversations during elementary, middle, and high school. And let me just tell you, it was a completely normal time. And as they say, kids will be kids, teens will be teens. Yeah, I was looking through drawn porn like furry or hentai or whatever else. I saw a big welder on dicks. I thought, cool, and saved the drawings, then never looked at them again, as evidenced by the fact they are in a big dump folder literally called to be sorted. I fully understand why you have a folder called to be sorted now because you wanted to sort out those files and images separately that is why you have it but if you had created a file called 18 plus nsfw on your to be sorted folder and put those images into that file in the first place then you wouldn't be cancelled by a group of bad faith kiwi farm Groid purse. That's, you know, that, that's the extent of the consideration that I gave those two drawings before my community and then the entire fucking internet hopefully corrected my mistake. Uh, it's hard to even say anything about it. You know, five seconds of a, uh, ooh, nice dick, cool line art saved. And it's a whole discourse. 
Um, uh, you know, I wish I had an answer that was more satisfying, but really for something like this, I feel like people are going to believe what they believe, I, you know. I do think there is a real argument to be made about carelessness, especially with regard to Lolicon and its seeming omnipresence in the anime community. You don't have to know much about anime to know that's an issue uh, with it. Yeah, I, I find it repellent, and I've been bitching about it for years. Plenty of that bitching has been on stream, too. But it's possible to find something repellent while also not being perfectly vigilant about it, uh, you know, especially in art where stylization and abstraction can kind of, uh, I guess, cloud awareness and judgment of the extent to which any artists you follow or people in the community might be doing sussy shit, right? Pardon me for taking my most indefensible position yet uh, on this, you know, in this video. Uh, in the history of my channel, I actually do like some anime, you know, and there's a lot of really good shit out there in the anime community broadly, and in a lot of of the sick anime babes getting railed uh, on Twitter, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, like, often that is also cool. Of course, every male who watches anime likes seeing some females get railed on. I just really don't know who would be against being railed. It's not like being railed in anime is a bad thing, right? And I hate the fact that, you know, the you know, pervasiveness of, of Lolicon means that the entire community is tainted, basically, right? I don't like the fact that, like, you could be looking through what looks like a bunch of totally, like, normal, fine, cool uh, uh, babes getting railed by big dicks, whatever you're into, you know, while also feeling like you have to be vigilant that in this incredibly normalized process, some of these drawings might be of characters that are canonically underage or that like an artist who generally draws in a kind of like cartoony style might be fine, but then another artist does the, but then they're like actually drawing like they're meant to be teenagers or whatever. I don't like it. Yeah, the normalization of drawn under, underage girls is very bad. It's very much a problem that unfortunately may still happen on the internet because there is never an actual legitimate solution to stop those types of people from posting it online, let alone drawing it. And it's a normalization issue, and I think one of the best ways you could deal with it is by being aware. Uh, I'm not perfectly aware, so I fucked up. This wasn't the first time that I fucked up in this specific regard. Uh, you know, after the whole child labor argument saga, people went through a bunch of like likes in an old public Twitter or you know, porn account that I had and over like thousands of likes, uh, you know, furry, big dick, monster girl images or whatever. I, I think they found one that was like the character was meant to be a teenager, you know, like, and it's not surprising to me that that might happen because, you know, I'm running between classes, scrolling on my phone. I look at an image maybe two or three seconds before I like the degree of scrutiny required there indicates that this goes beyond some kind of like matter of personal temperance and extends broadly into like, how weird is it that that's something that's been that normalized, you know? Yeah, I agree. It is weird that it's been normalized. And it's not entirely your fault for not checking it for two to three seconds before you like to tweet because you just didn't really know that it was a drawn underage person. Personally though, I wouldn't have liked a NSFW tweet in between classes at high school nor college if I ever went to one. I would have just waited until I've gone home to do that because I don't be caught doing it in school. At least that's the way I've done it when it comes to liking NSFW material on Twitter. But it's understandable that not everyone is the same. We all as a society have our own personal preference. Anyway, I, I don't mean to, like, make a big point or, or, or make it, like, a broader issue, you know, as a way of uh, pulling attention away from me fucking up. I I just think it's a broader issue, you know? Um, you know people, people are going to say what they're going to say. They can judge me for what they're going to judge me for. I think a lot of people have been real uncharitable. Uh, you know, I, I think it's insane to say this, like, ah, 
yeah, he's a pedophile. You got him. I think I think that's insane. But again, it's not really an evidentiary argument that I can make. So, you know, you know what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, God willing, anime culture will get better one day. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath, though. Yeah, I do wish that the nature of the internet would change. So there wasn't a need for people to be so judgmental every day. And you never know. Maybe in 10 years, anime culture will not be as toxic as it is now in some anime groups. So now I've looked at the drawn porn. The first picture is an anime woman sucking on a penis. The second picture is a character named Stocking from Panty and Stocking. If you look at the folder where it says XXVid, that is where the mysterious picture is from, as I was trying to figure out what that picture was. Stocking is seen here from my view only, sucking on a dick. Now, I have never watched this show before because I've never heard of it. The only two anime shows I watch are Naruto and the Dragon Ball Z franchise. And before you ask how old is Stalking, her age isn't specified. The third picture is a horse getting fucked by two anime females. Now Bosch just said that he didn't notice the AI art, but clearly the horse picture is. It shouldn't be hard to tell, but for some people, they might not have a great vision when it comes to looking at the AI pictures. The fourth picture is another anime character named Kumiko Mifium from an anime show called Chainsaw Man, which I also never watched this show before. This picture, of course, appears to be a fan-made drawing of Kumiko sucking on a penis. And again, I can only see this from my view. The fifth picture is another character from the Chainsaw Man named Kobeni Higashiyama, I think it's pronounced, who in this picture that I assume it's man made is given a blowjob or blowy, as some people say. The sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth picture. I'm not sure as of right now. I tried to use the Google Images feature called Google Lens to identify those images of who or what this was. I haven't been able to successfully find out what that, what this is. But you're free to look at those images yourself. The 12th picture here is Asa Matika from Chainsaw Man. Thankfully, that's the picture I can actually show on YouTube. Okay, so back to the centered part. This 13th picture here is another one of those AI generated pictures. And it's a horse cock. Which features two anime women next to it. Looking at the cock while holding a wooden bucket. And the horse's cock appears to come inside the bucket and the last 14th picture is the one Bosch didn't notice when he said he didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings he didn't really know the anime characters because if he did then he would have known what type of sexual anime drawings these characters are from and he also would have known that last that the last picture that you see here is from a lolicon artist named Matsuro Matsuri and I have very little bit of knowledge on who that person is but that this person seems to be a bad person a very bad person and Wash clearly stated in his the context video that he didn't know who that lolicon artist was and that Lonicon artist, by the way, has a drawn picture, one that Bosch downloaded of a female licking an RP female's pussy. It's weird that Natsuro does that type of shit 
and it's also weird that Bosch saved that image from someone who's a bad seed. But it, but then again, Bosch didn't know that. So now that I have looked into what Bosch actually had in his to be sorted folder, I'll say this. When I said on a live stream a few weeks ago that what Bosch didn't have was child P-O-R-N, I was serious. I mean it. Because now I know what Vosh actually had in his folder other than the, these Ethan Klein supporters and Vosh haters who just hate him because of his political takes in the past. Most I assume are Kiwi Farm Groypers. Because these haters never took the time to fully examine what was in Vosh's to be sorted folder and just blindly came to a delusion that the porn material Vosh had was CP. And I want to make this crystal clear now. I have never nor will I ever defend CP. I'm only defending Vosh because he had drawn porn, not real porn. If Vosh ever did have child P-O-R-N, he would then actually have to meet up with a child alone and have sex with a child, which would then be illegal for Vosh to do to a child. Thus, he would be arrested. That's what child P-O-R-N is. Also, Lollycon and CP are not the same thing. Lolly is a drawn version of a young looking girl character, and child P-O-R-N is real pornography. That's the difference. Before I end this this video, my final thoughts directly to Bosch. You make mistakes and that's okay. You're only a human being. However, you could have saved yourself the trouble if you just put your porn stuff that you saved years ago on a personal laptop so no one online can see it from the comfort of your home. Also, horses aren't that bad. Just be more aware of the stuff you have downloaded on your computer the next time you stream and don't just immediately show the live viewers the picture you're talking about until you make sure that you don't click to open your porn stuff just in case because accidents can and will happen. And as a live streamer, it's your responsibility to keep your private materials to yourself, hidden at least. Also, I truly believe you are a good person. You have done a lot of good things for your community when it comes to political advocacy. And you shouldn't stop doing at what you do best. I never believe that you have a porn addiction unlike some people who claim you do. I only believe that what you did on that live stream is an accident. Just don't listen to the advice of others who tell you to take a long break from the internet because they think you have a porn addiction when they never met you in person. Thank you.